Hi there, I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland Real Estate here in Prince Edward Island, Canada. Uh, my information can be found at michaelshomes.com, michaelsre.com, as in michaelsrealestate.com, and incomeunit.com, among others. Today, I wanted to share with you a conversation that I had with a uh, top New York City newspaper uh, that's going to be writing an article on uh, Canadian real estate, particularly Prince Edward Island real estate. The topic is why to buy real, why buy real estate in uh, Canada, or more appropriately, Prince Edward Island today. And basically, what I shared with them is the following facts. Number one, the Canadian banking system hasn't crumbled. Uh, it's been the most conservative banking system in the world forever in Canada is still in excellent, excellent shape. Um, number two, the mortgage rates for both Canadian purchasers and American and those purchasers overseas are still extremely low and competitive. Some of them down as low as uh, three, three and a half, four, four and a half percent. Uh, number three is we can now finance land. We were never able to do that with this 50 percent down. Now we can do it for with as little as 20 to 30 percent down. Uh, so everything can be leveraged including raw land. Uh, why is now the time to buy? Particularly with US buyers, the US dollar is at an all-time high according to my chart this morning. Uh, since the last peak the highest point I think in the last 20 years was somewhere around 05. Uh, right now the American dollar is about 30 cents on the Canadian dollar. So right off the bat you're getting a 30 percent discount. Um, you know, so basically what I want to do is is try to get past all the doom and gloom and say there are some other avenues for investment that are working. Uh, what separates PEI from the rest of Canada and the US is we haven't had the huge upturns and downturns of price. We haven't had houses go from 80 to 90 to 200 to 400 thousand dollars over the course of a few months. PEI real estate, unlike the rest of uh, the, the larger cities in North America and Canada, has gained its four and a half to six percent per year and its waterfront its 10 to 20 percent per year and it's done that steadily and it hasn't uh, you know, it hasn't exploded and hasn't dropped off like, like other markets have. So you can, you know, rest assured, you buy something in PEI, it's going to give you a decent return, and it's going to be a steady return, and it's not going to, you know, diminish in price by 30 or 50 percent overnight like has happened in Edmonton and Calgary, Toronto, Vancouver, and, you know, the larger centers in the States. Uh, as far as what to buy, uh, with all the doom and gloom and all the news, one thing that's made it is a buyer's market everywhere. Uh, even if it isn't, the, the owners or the vendors of the properties feel a lot more motivated uh, because there is less people buying. So now is the time. Now is the time because of the dollar. Now is the time because of PEI's market stability, the Canadian banking stability, the ability for Americans and Canadians and people overseas to get financing at extra low rates. Uh, whether you're looking at uh, long-term investments like uh, waterfront properties to subdivide, there's huge returns, hundreds, sometimes thousands of percent at the end of a 10 or 15 year cycle. If you're looking for something with an immediate return, PEI is some of the most affordable multifamily and apartment buildings available in Canada. Um, you know, whether you're looking for a $150,000 duplex or a $3 million uh, 50 unit or 60 unit apartment, uh, they are available in PEI and they are producing phenomenal return rates in comparison to anything else in North America and Canada and financing is available and it's insured by the government with as low as 15 percent down. So, you know, multifamily, if you want to get into something else that's a rental return, look at waterfront rentals. We have the highest returns for, for waterfront rentals. If you look at what you're getting per week on a rental here, if you go to vrbo.com or Cottage Link, you see a $2 million pet house in Florida renting for $800 a week. Uh, we're getting $25,000, $27,000, $3,000, a week for a three dollars to $500,000 waterfront house. So the return ratio or the capitalization rate on that is, is far better than anything you're going to see anywhere else.
Uh, there's a huge shortage of high-end rentals and uh, now's the time to capitalize on that. I have one client from Boston that has five of them on the go. They're all uh, pretty well fully rented this season. Um, I've got another client that does absolutely no advertising at all. He finished the house last year. He's had uh, a number of rentals all at $2,700, $2,800 a week. So things are happening. Uh, some people are looking, you know, they're buying the small forty, eighty, a hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollar houses, and renting them for five, six, eight, fourteen hundred dollars a month. So tons of things happening in PEI. Now is the time, especially if you're dealing in U.S. dollars. Call me toll free one eight 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 two nine five six eight six three. Direct cell phones nine zero two eight 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 eighty eight sixty and my. Uh, residential websites michaelshomes.com and commercial websites are michaelsre and incomeunit.com thank you have a great day and thanks for watching this uh, unedited unrehearsed youtube video bye for now